Hey everyone, Dr. Frunky back with a review of the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Uh, this knife has been reviewed countless times on YouTube by other reviewers. Uh, it's been written about in the forums, it's been posted about on every manufacturer and distributor site. Um, we all know this knife well. Uh, it was recently ranked the number one uh, knife not to be discontinued ever uh, by Knife News. Um, everyone loves this knife and it comes in plenty of different varieties. I wanted to discuss this edition, the carbon fiber and M4 blade steel limited edition run from KnifeWorks.com. Uh, I was happy to get a copy of this. There were 1,200 of them sold and I was thankful to get one. Um, I think everyone this season got an M4 paramilitary who wanted one. Blade HQ had one with the Jade and Natural G10 handle scales. And then Knifeworks had this one. Uh, I wanted the Knifeworks version. I like carbon fiber. I don't particularly like Jade G10. And Knifeworks uh, is a company in Louisiana, which is not too far away from where I am right now. In any case, uh, this is a really nice knife. Everyone knows and loves the paramilitary too. Sorry for the lighting here, my camera is uh, adjusting to this, but uh, this edition came with a nice handle of carbon fiber. Uh, this is not peel ply carbon fiber like you see on the Sage or the Domino. This is a full thickness piece of carbon fiber. You can see it on the inside there by the lock that it is uh, carbon fiber in there too. And CPM M4 blade steel. So initial impressions, um, as with any para you've got to wear it in a little bit it came a little stiff but you could tell that it was just going to break in nicely and man oh man it flicks incredibly well and it did you see that it just closes so smoothly it is uh, not overly floppy um i've seen some people's where the the blade will bounce in and out of the handle it's kind of so loose this one does it just the right amount where it just falls in and stays in so uh I've had pair of twos in the past with varying degrees of lock stick and grittiness. This has none of that. It's very nice. Um, so I have enjoyed carrying this. Um, initial impressions, solid, smooth, well done. Like the carbon fiber, like the blade steel, the grind is well done. I have not seen any major imperfections in the blade. Now I've had this and carried this now for a few weeks and my M4 has not created any significant patina. I haven't really babied it but I haven't really put it through any really hard use yet so we'll see how that holds up. So definitely liked it straight away. So let's talk about the different components of this. Um, the knife blade is really the uh, focus on this edition. The M4 blade steel is really nice, uh, powdered metallurgy tool steel made for industrial applications, very high hardness, able to achieve um, a very fine edge and maintain it for a long time, but also with a significant amount of toughness. Uh, so very good steel for all different types of cutting tasks. Um, it is not a stainless steel though. Uh, it will patina, it will rust. I've coated mine in mineral oil. Uh, I have been able to hold off any significant patina for the first month or so of owning this. It's really nice. Um, the steel is cut really well. Um, the edge is very well done and uniform and it cuts through everything. I haven't had to fix the edge or redo the edge yet. Um, the pivot is a standard paramilitary pivot. It runs on washers. Uh, it is very smooth and about as smooth as it needs to be. We've got a bunch of ball bearing flippers out there in the world of ball bearing pivots. Be a paramilitary, you know? It's smooth on washers. It's solid. Um, it doesn't have the uh, problems that a ball bearing pivot can have with dirt and grime. Uh, or even safety or strength issues that some people talk about. Uh, the handle, beautifully done carbon fiber. Um, finally, a real carbon fiber handle uh, in one of these knives. 
Uh, I really enjoy it. I think this is well done. They should not even bother making that peel ply stuff that they put on the sage and the domino. I mean, what's the point? No one really likes that stuff. We all want this scale. Please, guys. Please, Spyderco. Don't make that cheap stuff anymore. If you're going to bother making it in carbon fiber, just do it this way. The people who are going to buy that knife will pay the premium for it. I promise you that. Now, again, as you'll notice, uh, as in a couple of my other knives, I have a deep carry pocket clip on here. Uh, the standard paramilitary two clip allows a lot of this knife to stick out of the pocket. I don't carry a lanyard. I don't make use of the lanyard hole, so they really allow that entire lanyard hole to stick above the pocket or the waistline where I carry most of my knives, and so that's a lot of knives sticking out. So I put this deep carry clip on, also from Blade for Sale on Amazon. Really nice thing here clean titanium um, I think it matches the look of the knife well and it has the little spider logo on it that's pretty neat to me you know everyone has different tastes so think what you will say what you will um, I like the handle lightweight strong sturdy really enjoying this this knife comes in at about four ounces right on the nose so uh, how is it in everyday carry it uh, has a very low profile. Everyone knows that the Paramilitary 2 is somewhat of a long knife, sort of a big knife. You need to be somewhat of a bigger person in order to carry this effectively. I'm six feet tall, so that works for me. I'm able to carry this and conceal it well. Uh, it's lightweight. Um, it's not super threatening in appearance. Um, it kind of looks like a little bird. Everyone kind of agrees that that leaf blade shape is not the most aggressive, tactical-looking thing. Um, so... Not everyone is going to get scared when you pull this out uh, in the workplace, uh, but it is very effective. The benefit of this blade in a functional sense is that it slices better than just about anything else out there. This will cut through anything, paper, cardboard, clothing, rope, electrical wire, anything. It just blazes through it, and it's like it doesn't even blink. And it doesn't dull, and it doesn't chip, and it doesn't break. And uh, I've used this quite a bit, and I enjoy it. Um, I haven't put it to crazy hard use because I don't do that in my everyday life. But uh, it has held up to normal cutting tasks like a champ. Um, so what are my final thoughts on the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 Carbon Fiber M4 Blade Steel? What hasn't been said about the Paramilitary 2 already? Uh, everyone knows it's a great knife. Highly recommend it. If you haven't picked one up, um, pick one up. I was carrying this at work and I convinced um, a student I was working with to get a Spyderco. He picked up the S30V Black G10 Black Blade version and he loves it. And so if you don't have a Paramilitary, get one. If you have the means to get a sprint, sprint run or one of these limited edition ones, do that too. They're just getting better and better. Uh, as with all of Spider Code knives, their constant quality improvement or CQI is shown every time they make one of these limited editions. They just get better and smoother and better and smoother. So um, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, click like or subscribe, uh, and I will talk about more of my EDC gear and knives. Uh, so take care. Bye.